In this video, I'm going to solve this question. A bowl contains five chips, three marked $1 and two marked $4. A player draws two chips at random and is paid the sum of the values of the chips and we have to find the player's expected gain. So first of all, let's say that X is a random variable and let's say this random variable denotes player's gain. And as per the question, we have to find the player's expected gain. So this means that we have to find the expected value of X. Now we know that expected value of X is equal to summation X multiplied by probability of X. So this is the formula to calculate expected value of X, where this small X is a particular value of the random variable X. Now to calculate the expected value of X, let's list down all the possible values of X. So I'm making three columns here. So let's say this is outcome. Here we record the possible values of X and here we record the probability of X. So as the player is drawing two chips at random, so the possible outcomes could be that uh, the first chip is marked $1 and the second chip is also marked $1. Or it could be the case that first chip is marked $1 and second chip is marked $4. Or we could have first chip marked $4 and second chip marked $1 or both the chips are marked $4. Now we are given in the question that uh, the player is paid the sum of the values of the chips. So that means in this case x will be equal to 1 plus 1 so it will be equal to 2. Here value of x will be equal to 1 plus 4 so it's 5. Here it's 5 and here the value of x is 8. And now we have to find the corresponding probability. So the probability that X is equal to two is equal to the probability that we will get this outcome. So that means uh, we have to find the probability that first chip is marked $1 and the second chip is also marked $1. Now note that the player is drawing chips randomly. So the probability that the first chip is marked $1 is equal to three divided by five because in total there are five chips and uh, three chips are marked $1. Now note that to start with we had five chips and this is a case of no replacement. So that means once we draw a chip we are not putting back that chip into the bowl. So if our first chip is marked $1 we just keep it aside and then we pick another chip from the bowl. So once we have picked one chip the total number of chips left is equal to 4 and now because we want this chip to be $1. So the total number of chips that are left and are marked $1 is equal to 2. So that means this probability is equal to 6 divided by 20. Similarly, we can find this probability. So this is equal to the probability that first chip is marked $1 and second chip is marked $4. And note that it is important to keep in mind that this is a case of without replacement. We are not replacing the chips once we have selected one. So now in this case, we have to find the probability that the first chip is marked 1. So once again, this probability is equal to 3 divided by 5. And then we have to find the probability that the second chip is marked $4. So the total number of chips left after we have drawn one chip is 4. And the total number of chips that are marked $4 is 2. So in this case, the probability is 6 by 20. Similarly, we can find this probability. Here we have to make sure that the first chip is marked $4 and the second chip is marked $1. So in this case, the probability that the first chip is marked $4 is equal to 2 divided by 5. And we have to multiply this by the probability that the second chip is marked $1. So this is equal to 3 divided by 4. And once again, this is also equal to 6 divided by 20. And similarly, we have to here find the probability that the first chip is marked $4. And the second chip is also marked $4. So this probability is 2 divided by 5 multiplied by 1 divided by 4. And this is equal to 2 divided by 20. So these are the possible values of x and these are the corresponding probabilities. Now we have to just use the formula to calculate the expected value of x. So the expected value of x is equal to summation x multiplied by px. So that means it is equal to 2 multiplied by 6 divided by 20 plus 5 multiplied by 6 divided by 20. Once again, 5 multiplied by 6 divided by 20 and 8 multiplied by 2 divided by 20. So this is the value of expected value of x. 
and this is equal to 12 divided by 20 plus 30 divided by 20 plus 30 divided by 20 plus 16 divided by 20 and this is equal to 88 divided by 20 and this is equal to 4.4. So the expected value of x is equal to 4.4. So this means that uh, the right answer is part D. So the right answer is this, that the player's expected gain is above 4 and less than 5. And this is all for this question.